Welcome along guys. Well I normally say it, don't I? I'm riding something a bit different today. Well today I really am because I am sampling my first ever electric motorcycle. Bring it on. <laughs> So I am genuinely excited about riding this bike. I've just literally poodled around here just to, so I don't ruin the first, first ride impressions of this because this has been delivered today. The English Electric Company, who are based in Norfolk, they've lent me this for a week. So I'm going to do a few videos on this just because it's something so very different. Now, I'm not opposed to electric bikes. I'm really not. And this is the perfect sort of requirement. They make some different sorts of bikes, Zero, but this is the one which sort of meets my needs the most. It's a super moto. It's quick. It's fun. It'll be great on the lanes around here. It's got no clutch, obviously, just a single speed. You have a kill switch here. And they're ready to go. Nice LCD display with the battery. We'll go through all the specs of this in a while, but let's, uh, I'm itching to try it. Give it a bit of throttle. <laughs> That's it. There's no noise. I'm just coasting. The throttle isn't too snappy because the thing with electric bikes is they deliver 100% you know, of their torque instantly. So you know, the throttle's quite soft when you first open it, I guess, just, just to prevent you spinning it up. Whoa! Yep, it's pretty damn fast. How weird is it? How quiet is it? I feel like I need to whisper. This is 45 brake horsepower, 105 newton meters of torque. So it's an absolute torque monster. It has ABS, but no traction control, which is probably one of the few bikes out there which could actually really do with a bit of traction control, delivering that much torque instantaneously at any revs. So I'm just feathering the throttle. What they've told me is this will do about 70 mile range this, and this bike costs £9,000. So I don't think that is outrageous. I look, my indicator money. Oh, waste battery. I don't think that's outrageous when you consider the 701 is 86 or something. So it's 400 pounds more expensive than a 701. And because I've got friends with 701s, we're going to do some comparison performance tests with the 701. We're, I want to knock it down gears. We'll see how it compares performance-wise with the uh, with the 701. Weight-wise, it feels really light actually. With 135 kilos. That is a light bike. My 500 EXC is about 107, so it's heavier than that, but it's 10 kilos lighter than the 701. Well, that torque just, just comes in. How quiet is it? Oh my word. Let's say the throttle is a bit soft when you first pull off. Let's give it an handful. No, I don't think you're better with really it. Not without some serious bouncing on the suspension. You can also connect your phone to it, and if I had a RAM mount, you could have your phone displaying other information through the app, because it's got an app to connect. It even tells you how much money you would have been spending on petrol compared to the, the electricity you're using to charge it, to see what your saving is. That's when it's the weirdest, you stop and you've got nothing. You've got nothing. I mean, a lot of people will say, oh, it's dangerous. People can't hear you coming. You need that exhaust volume. I get it. Spin it up on the gravel. Full power. I get that. I'm with you. The brakes are really, really good. I still want to knock it down. Where's my clutch? What's my left hand doing? It's silent. It just goes. I think it's deceptively fast because you've got no engine tone and you've obviously got no gear changes to slow you down. It's quite deceptive the way it just absolutely hoofs off. Now am I concerned around these little lanes that people can't hear me coming? I am a little bit, I have to say. Charge time. It takes eight hours to charge it from fully flat. You can get what they call a supercharge, supercharger for it. No, that's not what you're thinking when I say supercharger. It's like a charger 
that you, you an additional charger which can charge the bike up in like 40 minutes you can charge it up to 80 percent full in 40 minutes problem with this bike is you'd have to have a top box to mount it because it hasn't got room to actually mount it on the bike the bigger models you can have it mounted inside the bike which makes a lot more sense also that supercharger is compatible with the charging stations you see at um, petrol stations it's gonna be like I've got my beer I must be drunk that bike's making no noise it's certainly gonna keep the locals happy anyway no more obnoxious motorcycles coming through the villages I'll have to put some music on top of this or something. <laughs> it's just too quiet. Cue the exciting music. The gravel. <laughs> oh. It's not a bad handling bike, you know. It's not a bad handling bike at all. Tomorrow has arrived. This is, this is, I mean, I thought this would be, I thought they were heavy. I thought electric bikes, they're big, they're very, very heavy. You know, 135 kilos, that's not heavy. The battery's got a five year guarantee, and they reckon the battery will do 250,000 miles. The actual bike itself has a two year guarantee, the, the battery's extended to five years, but 250,000 miles out of the battery until it drops to a level of like 80% of what it used to be, you know, so it, so it depletes slightly to 80% of, of the power it used to be able to deliver. So it's gone off by 20%, let's say. You won't be coming here very often if you've got one of these, but I'm just going to get a coffee. <laughs> I don't need none of that pump shit. None of that. Oh, we've got a charge point here. This is what I'm on about. So if you get the supercharge kit, you can plug into here. So I could plug into here, have it fully charged in 40 minutes, cost me nothing. You don't have to pay for these at the moment, do you? Unbelievable. I wonder if it's got an adapter to fit that. I'd... Well, you do have to pay 35p per kilowatt. Hmm. I've never even looked at one of these things. Oh, must be two different sorts. Eh, no, that's not going to work on that. If you've got the supercharger, you can. This is just literally a, a kettle plug. <laughs> a three-pin kettle plug as in what you have on your kettle or computer. Computers are the same, aren't they? Let's get a coffee and we'll do a quick walk around of it. So there we go, coffee drunk. I'm not going to do the full walk around here because there's too many people <laughs> looking at me thinking I'm some sort of weirdo. I mean, they're not far wrong, let's be honest, but uh, I don't want to advertise the fact. I do not need your outdated fossil fuels. Everyone is looking. I don't need them. I don't need them. I am the future. Give it the berries. Woohoo! <laughs> it's quick. It goes like stink. It goes like stink. What's it like for overtaking? Overtaking power. Absolutely no trouble whizzes by i think it's one of those things you could really get into this actually just because it's so novel at the moment people are just like what the hell what the hell is that anything you can't do you can't ride it in the rain or you might get electrocuted <laughs> joke joke see my problem is i'm a bit ham-fisted i like to open things up and uh, if, you, if, you, if you've got, only got a finite amount of go until you have to park this up for eight hours, you have to be a little bit careful to ensure you've got enough go-go left to get you home. So the engine braking actually, with, with that maximum regeneration, it's actually very much like a, a normal bike, you know, in the amount of engine braking. <laughs> I guess it is still engine braking, isn't it? It's the electric motor charging, turning into a, turning from a motor into like a like an alternator, as it were. Should we go in here for a walk around? I've never been in here. Oh, let's park her up and let's have a better look at it. So there it is, the Zero FXS projector, headlamps, an obvious supermoto styling. I think the suspension. 
it, you know, it, it's not proper, proper Supermoto spec. It's not like the 701 spec suspension. Obviously, there's, there's a bit of budgetering going on with the suspension, I think. Cast wheels, aluminium frame, that's obviously the battery here. That's your battery. The motor is here. I mean, of course, you know, there's like two moving parts in the motor. There's no servicing per se with this. You haven't got servicing costs. You've not got you know, oil changes. You've got, it's, it's not even got a chain. It's belt drive. It's got a carbon fiber belt, which I'll have to check and see how long that lasts for. It's got chain adjustment or belt adjustment. So if it starts to slacken, you can, but I mean, there's no oil. You know, it's just so easy. There's really nothing to do. You've got proper twiddlies on the shower suspension so you can do i might ever play around with the with the rebound and all that sort of stuff but it's pretty standard the rest of it you know it's a pretty standard sort of stuff really i mean i think the styling is a bit big here i don't know why that tail is, is, is quite so large and the, the back light they can't use led lights in the states can they so you've got conventional bulbs and a big you know big old-fashioned halogen bat light because because they can't do it in the states so it really is a european option for some led indicators a nice tidy led bat light um, just to, just to finish off those little things with it but overall i actually think it looks pretty decent i could see myself on it. it's a bit small i'd like it to be a little bit overall a little bit bigger it's quite a small compact bike i guess it looks sort of one two five sort of size i'd maybe like it a bit bit higher up, a bit bigger, bigger bigger forks, shit it up a little bit more. So what do I think? First impressions, it's fast, perhaps not as torquey and as fast as I perhaps thought it might be, but it's still pretty quick. It's comfortable, it's very comfortable. It's it's lived up to what I thought, it's, it's more or less like what I thought it would be, to be perfectly honest. I was expecting it to be like this <laughs> really I love the hills charges my bike <laughs> if you want to know more details about this have a look at the English Electric Company's website those guys seem to be doing everything electric so motorcycle wise should I say have a look at their site check them out if you've got interest in electric vehicles so there we go the Zero FXS little quick look at it so any, any questions you want, anything you want to know about it, let me know in the comments to this video and I'll address them in the next video when I'm out on this again. Speak to you next time, guys.